Hello everyone, today we will be discussing HMI datasheets. A datasheet, or spec sheet, is a document that summarizes the performance and other electrical and mechanical characteristics of a product, in this case, an HMI. An HMI is a human-machine interface that provides a human with data or information that the machine is reading. For the purpose of explaining HMI datasheets in this video, I will refer to the specifications of one of our new WinTech HMI, the CMT3152X. First, we have the Features section. This section provides a brief overview of the key characteristics of this specific HMI. This list may include screen size, processor speed, memory, and available communication ports. Next is the display section. First, it will show screen size and resolution. The 3152X offers a 15 inch LED screen with a 1024 by 768 resolution. The brightness is measured in candela per square meter. Candela is an SI unit that measures the luminous intensity in a given direction. This display has a brightness of 400 candela per square meter and a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. The backlight lifetime represents the number of hours before the brightness decreases to 50% of the initial spec. In this case, it will take 50,000 hours. This display can accurately produce up to 16.2 million different color variations. LCD viewing angle represents the angles from top, bottom, left, and right where the contrast is still acceptable, which is 89 degrees for all four sides. Pixel pitch represents the distance in millimeters between each individual LED. A smaller distance will provide a clearer image. Next, within the touch panel section, we can see that this HMI has a capacitive display made of tempered glass. Capacitive touch uses the electrical properties of your fingers to interact with the HMI. Capacitive displays are often seen as an improvement to touch displays that work by sensing direct pressure from a finger. This type of display is known as resistive. However, the type of display used may depend on the application. The hardness scale is based off the Mohs hardness scale, which compares the resistance of a material to that of 10 reference minerals. The 3152X has a hardness factor of 7H, which is relatively high. The 7 corresponds to the mineral quartz, meaning the HMI is able to resist scratching damage from any mineral or material softer than quartz. In the memory section, our specifications also list that the RAM, or random access memory, and flash memory as 1GB of RAM and 4GB respectively. Unlike a typical hard drive, flash memory has no moving parts and is non-volatile, meaning that the information stored within memory will be saved even if you power down the device. Just like your smartphone or computer, this HMI has a processor. The processor allows the HMI to execute its program. This specific HMI is equipped with a quad-core Cortex-A17 CPU. In certain applications like motion control, in which response time is critical, it is very important to have a fast processor that is up to the task. Next, the I.O. or Input-Output Port section will show all the possible input and output ports supported for the selected model. The SD card slot and USB ports are used for extra storage. This specific model comes with dual Ethernet ports which is helpful when trying to communicate with more than one device. Each Ethernet port has a specific purpose. LAN 1 is used for WAN or Wide Area Network used for connecting to the internet. LAN 2 is used for LAN, Local Area Network for connecting to a device. The 3152X supports serial communication via an RS-232 and RS-485 interface. RS standing for recommended standard. Both RS-232 and RS-45 have 9 pins, some of which correspond to a method of communication. For example, within the RS-232 pin assignment, you will see RxD, TxD, RTS, CTS, and GND. RxD and TxD receive data and transmit data respectively, while RTS and CTS stand for ready to send and clear send, while GND stands for the ground wire. This HMI supports audio output via two methods, one being a built-in speaker and the other 3.5 mm jack. The next section indicates that this HMI has a built-in RTC. RTC stands for real-time clock. This is important because the HMI can be synchronized to an external device such as a PLC and have exact time. The RTC keeps real-time even while the HMI is not connected to a power source. Next is the power section. The input power refers to how much energy is being put into the device. In this case, it is a 24 volt direct current power supply. Battery powered appliances like a flashlight use direct current. With alternating current, the current switches back and forth at regular intervals. Current in power lines or normal household electricity is alternating current. 
Power isolation is a protective feature that provides electrical separation between two circuits. This barrier ensures that electrical equipment is safe and prevents shocks or fire hazards. Power consumption is the energy needed for the device to function, which is 1.3 amps at 24 volts direct current. The voltage resistance section denotes that the screen has been tested for and can withstand 500 volts of alternating current for one minute. This voltage resistance is also called withstand voltage in the industry. Isolation resistance shows the limit to resistance of the flow of the electrical current, which is 50 mega ohms at 500 volts direct current. The vibration resistance is how much vibration the unit can withstand. For the 3152X, it is 10 to 25 hertz in the X, Y, and Z direction at two times gravity for 30 minutes. Our specification section will show various information on the hardware. PCB coating is a thin polymeric film applied to a PCB board to protect the board and its components from the environment and corrosion. The enclosure is made up of two parts, the front bezel, which is plastic, and the back plate, which is aluminum. Next up are the dimensions and panel cutout. The dimensions are straightforward, the maximum width, height, and depth. The cutout dimensions are used to give the recommended width and height for a cutout to ensure the rubber gasket has the highest effectiveness. The VESA or Video Electronic Standards Association mount dimensions give the horizontal and vertical distance of the mounting holes. Next is the environment section. This section will provide important details for storage and operation specifications. NEMA, the National Electrical Manufacturers Association, will give ratings to enclosures for electrical components. The NEMA 4 rating says that this unit is able to withstand dust, rain, snow, and hose-directed water. IP or ingress protection has various ratings for products. This specific model has a rating of IP66 which protects against hose-directed water, rain, or snow. It is not intended to be submerged in water. The storage and operating temperature will give the safe range of temperatures while the suggested relative humidity for the product is 10 to 90%. Next is the certification section. This section will show all certifications that the device qualifies for. The 3152X has two certifications, the first being CE. This certifies that the product complies with European health, safety, and environmental requirements to ensure consumer safety. The second certification is the UL or CULUS listing. This shows that the product has been tested by underwriters' laboratories to meet safety standards of the United States as well as Canada. Lastly is the software section. This section will show all WinTech USA supported software for the device. First, we have EasyBuilder Pro and which versions are compatible. EasyBuilder Pro is used to create programs for the HMI. The 3152X is pre-licensed with WinTech's own VPN solution, EasyAccess 2.0. This service allows you to monitor or control this HMI or even pass through a PLC from a remote environment. For more information on our data sheets, feel free to check out our website at wintechusa.com. Thanks for watching.